Hi kitties. So today I'm going to be sharing my retinol journey with you guys. Why I started using retinol in my 20s and when should you start with your retinol skincare routine? I'm in a very chatty mode, so let's begin with the story. So my first skincare routine included a toner, serum, moisturizer and a sunscreen. I was happy for a while with my skincare routine, but still I could see like deep smile lines on my face because I had bought myself a new camera DSLR camera and whenever I click pictures I could see deep lines here so I did a lot of research okay and I came to the conclusion that it's time to start with my retinol journey because my skin was showing premature signs of aging so as we grow old the cell turnover rate of our skin slows down and when you start using a retinol it actually increases the cell turnover rate hence giving you a new skin and dissolve the smile line so it gives you a smooth youthful supple skin which I love so this is how I started my retinol journey in my late 20s and honestly I have better skin in my 30s than I had in my 20s there's no denying that but there are very few good retinol skincare options available in India and the retinol cream that I was using was discontinued so I was looking for a good retinol cream and that's when I decided to try Quill 0.1% retinol night cream for wrinkles and skin type Thing. I started using it last month and it's already my holy grail cream. One thing that really stood out to me about this retinol cream is that it blends seamlessly into my skin and it's very hydrating. As compared to other retinol creams that I previously used, retinol can sometimes be drying on the skin. It can also cause purging and cause redness but this cream did none of that. It's so gentle on my skin, I did not feel any irritation, redness or any skin purging and I feel that it's very beginner friendly but at the same time it's very effective. I think it's the most gentle retinol cream I've ever used so if you're looking to start with a retinol cream I would highly recommend this one. So this cream has 0.1% retinol which not only helps to fight the fine lines and wrinkles but also helps in reducing the acne and minimizing the enlarged pores. It also increases the firmness of skin by promoting the production of elastin and collagen which are two most important proteins for that youthful looking skin. Other than vitamin A, it also has pyridin spilosa extract which is also known as bioretinol because it's plant-based retinol. And it has palm oil which has great emollient and antioxidant properties. It's also fragrance-free and alcohol-free which is always a plus point and it makes me love this cream more. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this cream is mind-blowing. I was sleeping on it. I think it's my favorite product product from Requil. My skin feels smoother and more supple. So let's talk about how to use this cream. So when you are starting with retinol, use it twice or thrice a week in the night time. Always wear sunscreen in the next day. And then when your skin builds tolerance for retinol, you can use more than that. But I personally use it twice or thrice in a week. If you're looking for a retinol cream to start with, I would highly recommend 0.1% Requil Retinol Night Cream because it's very beginner friendly and budget friendly. So don't sleep on retinol just because it is marketed as an anti-aging ingredient. Initially, it was used as an anti-acne ingredient. And who gets the most acne? Teenagers. You can start with retinol in your 20s if your skin is showing early signs of aging like mine did. And it is a must have for mature skin type. If you are in your 30s, 40s, 50s, it is a must have for you. You guys know I don't don't recommend anything that I'm not using personally in my skincare routine and please do share in the comment section when did you start your retinol journey or if you're looking to start with the retinol journey so I hope this video helps you to decide and I will see you soon in my next video mm, bye kitty